thank you so much for joining us this lovely evening and it is always pleasure having you on board thank you for the love thank you for the support and if this is your first time to be here kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and this is couples we show and this is where we write down our love when we are alive for we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under neither we want our love story to be read when we are gone and that is why we gather here every friday at 9 45 p.m east african time and we come to talk about issues concerning marriages i bring you different couples who come to share their journey with us and also experts who come to handle topics that can really help you build that marriage and this beautiful night i am having a buddy i'll call him a buddy he's my friend and um he's here to talk about how we can build strong marriages and so i am hosting a pastor who is coming from life church international limuru i know when you hear life international limuru kuna mtu anakuja kwa mind yako but let us know who is this man and my name is willie kinyash i'm a doctor love and out the other economy the undisputed let's see who is our guest tonight yes sir yes hey man hey man hey man good to see you good to see you too it's been long a time while. it's been a while yeah uh, two years ago i was here two years ago yes. you were here now i am but here. on the old version yes this is a new version Kabisa. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Sir. Karibu sana. Asante sana. You can say hi, hi to our viewers and yes. introduce yourself. Most definitely. Yes. Hello guys, my name is uh, Pastor Peter Kanjagwa. I am born again. I love God. I am married to one beautiful female wife and blessed with one child for now. And uh, we bless the Lord. Uh, I really appreciate having been invited in this place and it's a blessing and i know that you're going to learn you're going to unlearn mm. you're going to relearn so many things yes in jesus name amen, amen. Karibu sana. Asante sana. how is uh life church and how is apostle life church is amazing apostle is doing a great job uh we are trying to keep pace with him <laughs> because the speed he's going with <laughs> we, we are learning yes we, we are learning but we thank god for the grace of god that he has given unto us mm. we thank god for the grace of god in the person of apostle t mm. it's a great blessing just uh Loving and working with him. Yes. It is a blessing. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes, that is my guest this beautiful night, and we are going to have a wonderful time together. Remember, the show is proudly sponsored by Baha'i Investments Limited. These are dealers of selling of land and properties, and they have uh, properties in different areas. Juja Farm, Adi, Rio Murera. Um, Kangudo Road, Makuyu, Mananja, and in Nanyuki. And if you want to invest with Baha'i, you can visit them at their office in Juja Town at Juja Professional Center, or you can call the number that is running down there on your screen. Yes, you can call them, and if you have any question, any information you want to get, they will be able to help you. So thank you so much for joining in and uh, this saturday not tomorrow the other saturday something big and good is happening at life church international Limuru. there is a book launch that has been written by this gentleman i am having here in aitwa and rich it is a book and it has a workbook and this is a book every couple should have do you want to build a strong marriage do you want to have that marriage you can say yes my marriage is working then you need this book and the launch is happening this saturday and we'll be getting more details about this book from the author himself because he is here with us this beautiful night Bro, yes sir. Enrich, enrich. Why enrich? Enrich is an acronym. Mm -hmm. It's it's um it serves two purposes. Mm -hmm. You see every time you look at a uh, um a couple, every time you look at a people, you want to enrich them. Mm 
you want to make them become better. Mm -hmm. You want to make them uh, grow into something else. Mm -hmm. And rich stands for equipping. Uh -huh. uh, we want to equip. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that you are well equipped in a marriage. Mm -hmm. It stands for nurture. You want to nurture marriages. Mm -hmm. Make sure that they become what they need to become. Mm -hmm. R stands for reinvent. Mm -hmm. We have been doing the same thing mm -hmm. over and over again. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, we, we want to reinvent marriage, mm -hmm. make it fun, make mm -hmm. it happier. Mm -hmm. uh, I stands for uh, improve. improve. We want to improve marriages. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that they, they, they are becoming what they were meant to become mm -hmm. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Then C stands for cultivate. Mm -hmm. We want to cultivate a culture. Mm -hmm. There's a culture that we want to see mm -hmm. in, in every marriage. Mm -hmm. And H is healthy marriages. Healthy marriages. Healthy so that wow. is just enrich. What uh, a name! <laughs> yes, hey. bless the Lord. Really bless the Lord. So that is enrich for anyone that uh, that uh, that is looking at it. And you see, that is why the tagline for it is building strong marriages. Wow. Yes. Flesh and blood cannot give such a revelation. <laughs> It's by the grace of God. It's yes. just by the grace of wow. God. Wow. Yes, so uh, this is your first book? Yes, that's my first book. Mm -hmm. uh, there are several others that are in the pipeline, mm -hmm. but this is what we have done for now. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to push it and just make sure that people uh, are growing. Mm -hmm. You see, most of the times we, we always say that uh, marriage is an institution. Mm -hmm. and, and we make the joke of it is an, the only institution where you're given a certificate and then you're told to go and Green practice. Land. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is every, every institution has an exam code. Mm -hmm. Every institution has assessment. Mm -hmm. Every institution has a, a module of learning. Mm -hmm. So why do we then uh, say that marriage is an institution and you want, we don't want to have continuous learning. Mm -hmm. It is a continuous process of learning which has continuous assessment. Wow. Yes. This is beautiful. And uh, you're doing the launch uh, this Saturday? Yes, we are doing the launch on the 12th of November. 12th of uh, November. The 12th of November happens to be a day after our fifth year anniversary. Oh, So wow. this is our gift to the entire population on on the fifth year of our um, as we finish the fifth year of our marriage. <laughs> yes, sir. And it is happening at Life Church? It is happening at Life Church International Limuru from 3 p.m. We are having amazing people that will be coming, people that uh, have been there, people that have learned, people that have been affecting our lives. Mm -hmm. uh, I know there's there are two people, there are two couples that will be there that will be sharing a lot, a lot of wisdom. And it's going to be a blessing. Mm -hmm. We are having Pastor T, um, Pastor T and the wife, Pastor Claudia, who mm -hmm. will be there just to share wisdom. And uh, I know we will already have <laughs> have burst the bubble, but uh, we'll also be having Pastor Sue and Pastor Monene oh. uh, that will be present mm -hmm. on the particular day just to make the launch mm -hmm. and, and just to launch out the ministry. Mm -hmm. We will be doing three things. We will be launching Enrich mm -hmm. as a book. Mm -hmm. We will also be launching Marriage and Bliss uh, as an organization. Mm -hmm. And we will also be celebrating our 50th anniversary. Wow. Yes, sir. So there will be a cake? Uh, definitely. Oh, Enough yeah. Enough for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for everybody. I, I can see my director is nodding his head and <laughs> saying, yes, we must go. <laughs> You're most welcome. You're most welcome. And even thank the viewers you. are also welcome. Thank you. Thank you yes. so much. A copy is going for how much? A copy is going for a thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, the book is going for a thousand. The workbook is also going for a thousand. But for that particular day, we'll be giving an offer of 1800, 1800. For, for both books. Maybe someone is wondering, why should I have a book and then a workbook? Why? Now, that is the importance of asking that question. <laughs> <laughs> you see, most of the times we read books as novels. <laughs> We read books in your OPT, you get uh, information and then you pass. But most of the times you don't get to the place of asking ourselves a question before you read and after you have read, read a topic. Mm -hmm. So the, the workbook, the purpose of the workbook is just to make sure there is something you're doing with your spouse every day on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Because the workbook has questions that is asking before you read a topic and after you read a topic. So that you are able to understand. Before you read a topic, it gives you a, an up outline of where you are, mm -hmm. an assessment of where we are as a couple. Mm -hmm. Then the question that are after you have read the topic is, now, where do we want to go? What is the direction we want to take? Mm -hmm. what, are, what are the lessons that we have gotten from this topic that we can implement in our marriage? Mm -hmm. So the workbook now makes the book 
more more robust mm-hmm. it gives you now when you're reading the book you're reading with understanding you've mm-hmm. already asked yourself the questions concerning your marriage mm-hmm. then there's a direction that you want to take mm-hmm. then somebody said that if you want to to affect anything or you want to build a culture you need to do it for 21 days mm-hmm. consecutively mm-hmm. Uh, at the tail end of the workbook this is not uh, part of the book but it is in the workbook at the tail end of the workbook we are having the 40 days of praying for your spouse challenge. Wow. So 40 days uh, of prayer direction <laughs> that has been given in the workbook that you, you can pray for your spouse in a directed way. Mm-hmm. You pray for their mind, pray for their work, pray for their spirit, pray for their obedience, pray for so many things inside there. Mm-hmm. And it just gives you direction. So for 40 days, you will be praying for your spouse. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like asking, when was the last time you consistently prayed for your spouse? Actually, I wanted to ask that. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So wow. that is that is the difference between the book and the work. It just they complement one another. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, someone is asking where is Life Church uh, Limuru? I want to come for the launch. Where where is Life Church? Life Church Limuru is in Limuru town, uh, just behind Naiva Supermarket. Uh, we are there. There's a structure. You see the name of the church. Uh, you just pop in there and you're, you're most welcome. Even for a Sunday service, uh, mm-hmm. you're most welcome. We mm-hmm. have two services, so you're, wow. you're welcome. Thank you so yes, much. Sir. This is this is, this is is great we bless because you. we need to come out and uh, raise a voice and tell people that marriages they work. work. Because we are having so many voices <laughs> out there Very which much. are speaking negative Very things much. concerning marriages. Very but true. it is high time, especially those people God has given us grace. We need to write down materials and come out and speak to people out there and that is why we have uh, this show couples we we are here to tell people that marriages work they are not scams they work actually what you're doing is you're you're producing a counter voice <laughs> you see every time that there is a voice that is speaking it covers a territory mm-hmm. and the territory is subjected under that voice that is why you you wonder why in kenya are we having separation divorce right now separation in church mm-hmm. is at 80 mm-hmm. percent people that are getting married in church mm-hmm. people that are are, are are part of the church part of the praise and worship part of the prayer team but something captures them because the atmosphere is already taken by a different voice but the, what you're doing right now mm-hmm. is that you're providing a counter voice that yeah. this thing actually works mm-hmm. and you see the more you do it the more terrain you're taking the mm-hmm. more uh, coverage you're having mm-hmm. and the more you're having a coverage then you're able to take over mm-hmm. and restore marriages mm-hmm. from that place wow thank you so that much blessing. now uh i i can see uh, the 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 slogan of this book is building strong marriages yes sir. how can we build strong marriages uh, the first thing that I would want to mention uh, with with regards to that question is most of the people, you look at a child, uh, look at a, a pregnant woman, they go through prima, prenatal care. Mm-hmm. I've worked in a hospital, I know prenatal care is very important. Mm-hmm. And after a baby is born, then we start postnatal care mm-hmm. so that you're able to monitor the growth of the child up until five years. Mm-hmm then after five years, you are sure that if there is anything that was supposed to kill this child, it has already been averted. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is everybody is doing premarital uh, premarital counseling. Mm -hmm. Everybody is taking people through a a season of premarital counseling. Mm -hmm. And and premarital counseling is very important because it gives you an overview of what you're getting into. But most people have not majored on postmarital care mm-hmm. because postmarital care now tells you what is happening inside there mm-hmm. you see uh, when when you go to a doctor during postnatal care and you tell the doctor my baby is not feeding well my baby is not suckling well my baby and uh, the doctor is able to understand what is happening to the child but if you stay with the child and the child is crying if it is a complication the complication multiplies mm-hmm. That is the same thing that we are having right now. Mm-hmm. People have gotten into marriage. They were told, yes, you know, the baby will cry. Yes, your wife will sometimes become mad at nothing. Mm-hmm. Yes, sometimes you will struggle to understand what she's saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, sometimes at Acha Socks come Lango. Uh, and you think, ah, Sinilia Biwa. Yeah. So ni, 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 ni kawaida. Mm-hmm. But that becomes a tumor that mm-hmm. is growing that would have been averted if someone came and told you, yes, this is happening, 
but it should not be happening for this long. Mm -hmm. It is something that should have stopped at this particular stage mm -hmm. in life. Mm -hmm. So you, you realize that the babies that we are bringing up, the marriages that we are bringing up have not been taken through post-marital care. Mm -hmm. So they are, they are having issues. The best post-marital care is they have had uh, from radio stations. Mm -hmm. uh, and someone says, by the way, mm -hmm. it's still mm -hmm. uh, So uh, Kumbe women make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. So it is not mine alone. Mm -hmm. So I can go and stay outside yeah. and come back at one and just sleep. Mm -hmm. So that is where we are right now. Wow. And that's, that is how the importance of building strong mar marriages from the onset. Wow. Yes. Sir. And so when we we're talking about a uh, post now, mm. uh, it, it seems now after we get married, we go through different stages. Most and this is where many people now are failing. And 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 I looked at uh, this book. Uh, I think it is in chapter. Is it the first chapter? First chapter. Yes. And it talks about the four stages. different stages mm. we go through in marriage. Mm. Can, can we go through them? Most definitely. Yes. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, every marriage, just like a child, has uh, different cycles. Mm -hmm. uh, every marriage starts with the honeymoon phase. Mm -hmm. The honeymoon phase, we all fake it. Mm -hmm. All of us. Yeah. Ni ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That is the day you are told, babe, change the bulb and you are there before even the, the word bulb is finished. <laughs> you, you see something is falling off and you're there. You're there to open the door. You're there to uh, socks. Unajua kabisa kabisa for the last 20 years sijawai weka socks vizuri. Lakini because I want to kufuraisha uyu mtu. Honeymoon stage. Ah, Hata nitayangusha and then your mind will always remind you, please excuse me, you are doing something wrong. And you go and pick them up. And that is a very beautiful stage. At this stage, even God seems very close. Ah, you will pray. Yeah. You will pray. To, just to make sure you entice this person. You don't want them to see uh, the real you. Uh, upon your, you, you feel umearibikiwa na tumbo, but you still want to hold... You want to you don't even want to say I want to go to the toilet so that you don't spoil the mm. view that mm. this person has. Mm. And and at this stage you become so close to one another. You will talk for 20 hours in a day. You will go to work, ufike, ufike job, you call. Uh, are you still okay? Mm. Uh, excuse me, babe, I want to measure matter. <laughs> because this is just it is a place of just wanting to become close to one another. Mm. The second stage is now realization and settling down. Mm -hmm. Now that is when you realize, hey, by the way, mm -hmm. I can't fake it forever. Uh, <laughs> this, <life. laughs> this one, uh, we have to continue. Mm -hmm. and, and that is when you will hear someone say, he used to call me after every two hours to know how I am doing. Mm -hmm. And now I call him, he says, I'll call you back. And, and then he comes back. home. Uh, and he has not called back and he does not feel anything in his heart. Mm -hmm. It is because now life has continued. Mm -hmm. Now you have settled down. Mm -hmm. At that particular time, you atakuja, awache biatu kwa mlango, awache socks kwa mlango. Mm -hmm. And he will not feel up. It is not something that will bother him. Mm -hmm. uh, at that particular stage is when now uh, as a wife, you realize you don't feel like cooking. So you will call him and tell him, uneza uh, pitia, take out, ukuja mm -hmm. And you will not feel as if you're doing something wrong mm. because it's, it's, uh, we have settled. Is there anywhere you're going? Nowhere. Mm. So this is, this is it. And this particular stage, sometimes God feels for some people very close, mm. for some people very far away. Mm. Because now it seems God is not listening to my prayer. Mm. I thought this guy was good. I thought this lady was good. Mm. Then all these questions of, so what happens? So if you can treat me this way, in two years, so so in the next twenty years, so how will you be treating me? Yeah. And you see, these questions come up because it is a it is a cycle of life. It is somewhere that you are in life. Mm -hmm. The third, which is where most marriages do not pass, mm -hmm. and if they pass in the first cycle, the second cycle, at one cycle you'll be caught. Mm -hmm. The third is power struggle. Power struggle. Yes. What is and power struggle? Most people are there. <laughs> power struggle is where you are told change the bulb. 
and your mind is telling you, "Why did we meet him to electricity?" Who is the electrician? Who is the electrician? Eh, si tutabad misha tu. Maybe at a bal benye mungwa ni a washroom. Do you need to bal to washroom? No, you don't. Go and so, do your business and make kausha kichwa. You're wondering, so uh, so you want me to cook? So uh, we are sharing. <laughs> so that time we were not That is the day your wife wakes you up and tells you, today it is your turn. Mm-hmm. You will cook all the meals for the day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you're wondering, so I got married. Mm-hmm. And, and, and this, all these questions come, and that is where now you start pulling and pushing. Both of you are struggling to be heard. Both of you are struggling to be felt. And, and that is where the lady now starts kukausha kichwa. Maambia, eh, can you kindly pass me a glass of water? And she looks at you and says, si maji ndo ile? <laughs> that glass ndo ile pale? <laughs> si, suko na miguna mikono. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> tuchukulia. <laughs> and, and it is a power struggle. You start, it looks fun when it is starting, but as we continue, you realize, eh, by the way, things are not going as, as good as we thought. <laughs> that is when the wife now comes in, Metoka, metoka shuguli mkiwa awini, mefika kwa mlango, kwambia wewe unaosha mtoto, na uosha nyumba. Mimi ni meingia jikoni. Na ukiona yoni ngumu ingia jikoni, mimi nitaosha mtoto. Nyanda, eh, so excuse me, what is happening? And, and that is why you will hear so many people now complain. Because there is a power struggle. Everyone wants to be heard. Everyone wants to be felt. And most of the times, if you are not careful, you either separate emotionally, or you separate physically mm-hmm. at this particular stage mm-hmm. because both of you are strongly feeling mm-hmm. i am not being hurt mm-hmm. this person is is not listening to me mm-hmm. i have tried to tell you these things mm-hmm. but you're not listening to mm-hmm. me and you see that stage becomes a problem yeah the fourth stage before we go to yes. the fourth stage yes sir. I, I, because i feel like a, quite a big number mm-hmm. they they are together physically yes but emotionally they separated mm-hmm. how should we handle that most of the people um, in this stage, because of the power struggles and because of what you have been told before, because of the things that you have heard before, the things that you have gone through, maybe you saw your auntie, maybe you saw separation happening in your family and you don't want to separate, so you're, you're just there. Or maybe you are part of the church, and you're somewhere, Palen Bele, praise and worship, ushering. You're, you're part of the leadership somewhere. Mm-hmm. And you're saying, if, if we separate now, things are going to be bad, because my, my image will be tainted. Mm-hmm. And you find most people want to say, ah, me sit talker. So you separate emotionally. Mm-hmm. The first thing that you need to do is get to a place where you understand what is happening. You see now, every time something like that comes up, it means there is a conflict that has not been resolved. Mm -hmm. Most of the people in the conflict, in the book we've done uh, a topic that is called the marriage dance, Mm -hmm. which is now conflict management, Mm -hmm. uh, where as you are dancing, you will step on each other Mm -hmm. until you learn the move. Mm -hmm. And you will realize people between zero to five years, they step on each other a lot. People between 10 to 20 years have learned the moves. Mm -hmm. They know I will not step on you here and you will not step on me here. Mm -hmm. We have learned to agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. We have learned there are things I cannot change about you. There are things I cannot uh, do to to alter who you are. Mm -hmm. But I have accepted. I have accepted that Willie will come and laugh Mm -hmm. whether we have a problem or not. Mm -hmm. He will laugh. I have accepted that my wife will come and not say anything. She will just smile and look at me and I know the communication that she has made. Mm-hmm. So what you need to is learn your spouse. Once you learn your spouse, you know how does she react? How does she talk when there is a problem? Mm-hmm. Uh, then we don't sweep that problem under the carpet. We would rather sit and talk the whole night. Mm-hmm. Or if we can't sit and talk the whole night, let us postpone it to a time that we are both sober. Mm-hmm. Because again, people handle conflict in different ways. At that time, they, they are up here. Uh, someone told me if Abraham had told the wife, let us talk about this matter tomorrow, when he was told, take my servant to be your concubine. 
if he had told the wife, let us talk about this tomorrow, he would not have messed and there would be no Ishmael. Mm -hmm. But because he listened to the wife and the wife made sense. And immediately without thinking, he took. So there are conflicts that you will solve there and then. Mm -hmm. But there are conflicts that you will say, let's sleep on this matter mm -hmm. and talk about it tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, mostly, when you say that, I think I will just address the, the yes, people. Yes. When you say, let us talk tomorrow concerning this matter, make sure you are the one that starts the conversation tomorrow. Because most people, it becomes an escape plan. Oh. Becomes, let us talk tomorrow about this matter. Mm -hmm. Then three weeks later, mm -hmm. you're still arguing about the same thing. And you will still use the same line. Let us talk tomorrow about this matter. Mm. But you never bring it up. Mm. You never talk about it. Mm. So you will always be at that stage. You see, if you are not able to move from that stage by learning who your spouse is, learning how to communicate to your spouse, learning how to avert issues. Uh, a friend of mine who is a, a, a blogger, a vlogger, told me that for me and my husband, we don't have time yet to because we have to shoot. Mm. So at least go sana sana bana. Tuna kosana kidogo tuna maliza tuna tuna songa mbele. If you see the bigger picture, mm -hmm. if you see that this is a journey that we are going into and and we don't have time ya kukosana sana, it becomes easier for you yeah. to make sure that umearakisha hii process ya kukosana. Umeelewa tumekosana ni sawa. I have offended you. I am very sorry. Mm -hmm. it, uh, sorry is a, is a big one for ladies to remove. Mm -hmm. But with time they learn. Yeah. <laughs> It is a big one. So mm -hmm. once once you, you have learned your spouse, you have known this is how a sorry looks for them. Mm -hmm. If I do that, then we are good to go. Mm -hmm. and, and it will not stall us. Mm -hmm. Some people are, are praying against delay. There's every spirit of delay. Break now. But the delay is you have not sorted your matters yes. at home. Yes. So that is what is causing the delay. Wow. If you quickly sort those matters, mm -hmm. speed comes. Wow. Let's go to the fourth stage now. The stage number four is now realization. Realization. Re reinventment. Mm -hmm. You reinvent your marriage. Mm -hmm. You see, if I know that this is how, this is what has cost us to concern it, this is how we have dealt with it, it will not happen again. Because we have put a line. We have put, this is how we are sorting this matter. If it ever comes up again, this is how we are going to sort this matter. So you reinvent. Mm -hmm. uh, you say, uh, we used to watch movies. Like for me, I used to watch movies with my wife when we got married. Ah, and that, that was the best time. To go to Namisha mattress bedroom in a sitting, sitting room, to learn a movie. And by the time we realized the movie is watching us, mm -hmm. and, and things are happening, and we enjoyed ourselves. Right now, I recently I tried watching a movie. Mm -hmm. 15 minutes in, I was dead asleep. Mm -hmm. and, and, and at first, my wife was offended. You don't want to spend time with me. You don't want to watch a movie with me. And I had to know to explain to her. It is not that I am refusing. refusing. It's just that I have a lot of things that I'm doing. My mm -hmm. mind is tired. Mm -hmm. The moment I sit and just relax, my mind wants to shut down. Mm -hmm. So we reinvented. And we said, okay, movies are not working for us. You continue watching movies. Mm -hmm. But let's find something else that we can do. Mm -hmm. And what, what, once you get to stage number four, it ushers you back to stage number one. Honeymoon. honeymoon stage. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. now at honeymoon stage, you don't have issues. Mm -hmm. All the issues that come up, you quickly sort them. Mm -hmm. Then you will go to say, stage number two, stage number three, stage number four. Mm -hmm. Ashes you to stage number one. Mm -hmm. So it is a cycle. It mm -hmm. is not something that is just to say, Fuchs, to memorize stage number four, sasa to kosawa. Wongo, utarudi stage number one, urudi stage number two, urudi kwa pale tu bado. You will argue about something else. Mm -hmm. And it will be power struggle. Mm -hmm. And then you come back to realization, and then you come back again. Mm -hmm. You see, marriage is made up of different things. Conflict management, sex, uh, communication. Today you might argue concerning communication and find a solution for communication. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow you will argue about sex. Mm -hmm. You will be back to power struggle. Yeah. So it is always a cycle. Mm -hmm. That is why you will sit with someone uh, who is married for 60 years mm -hmm. and, and the wife will do something and ask, you will ask, Mama Nani, ni wame fanya ivo? Mm -hmm. 60 years later. Mm -hmm. Ni wame sema ivo? Mm -hmm. 60 years later. You wonder, mm -hmm. meka 60 years, haja ifanya yo kitu? Mm -hmm. It's because that is a cycle mm -hmm. and they have done something that you didn't expect mm -hmm. yes is there a way uh, a couple can skip a certain stage never <laughs> if you skip a stage it is, it is the same way as say someone comes to class one 
class two, class three. And because you think now this baby is very wise, take them Go to, to class eight. You will see wonders. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go through all this the cycle <laughs> the entire cycle teaches you something uh every stage has a lesson that you have to learn mm. if you skip that lesson it will haunt you <laughs> how long should one take <clears throat> to graduate from one stage to another maybe there are some people who are watching us and they're saying, hey, happen to make us <laughs> Eh, you know, you remember in our days mm. we used to kurudia class. Mpaka eh, upite. So there's someone who is saying, "Hii ni repeat sana." Even in marriage you will repeat. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kuna watu wameka 3 years. Uh -huh. Struggling about one thing. How long is a matter of how long you're willing to learn? You see, the way I handle my marriage is very different from the way you handle your marriage. Mm. The way you know your wife mm. is very different from the way I know my wife. Mm. So when when we are handling a matter, mm -hmm. it is not about the amount of time mm -hmm. that we can use mm -hmm. to come to a conclusive, uh, uh, a, a, an amicable solution. Mm. It is about how willing am I mm -hmm. to go down, mm -hmm. and how willing is she to mm -hmm. go down. Mm -hmm. You see, in a kani kama garimbili zimeangaliana. Moja inatoka kwa mlima, ingine inatoka ugochini. Zote ziko full light. Mm. How long it takes to avert an accident mm -hmm. is the time frame in which one is willing to dim their lights. Mm -hmm. Chida ya marriage nyinge, uyu amewasha hii, amekuja amewasha yote. Ana kuchoma. Uyu na ya amekuja amewasha yote. Accident ahead. Muna chopana. Mizuri sana. Mm -hmm. And so, how long is determined by how long is one of you willing to dim their lights uh -huh. and say let me use your light mm -hmm. let me see things the way you're seeing mm -hmm. i know they might not be right i know they might not be correct i know they will not lead us to the right place but let me dim mine so that you also see that your light is too bright mm -hmm. so when you dim yours now we can talk mm -hmm. but shidani if you go high i go high we will be two bands up there mm -hmm. and we will collide properly. Mm -hmm. And the band down here mm -hmm. will be will be so loud. Mm -hmm. So it's the time frame is not given. Yeah. You won't say that you will sort a matter of communication for three years, about for three months. No. It is how long you two are willing, one of you to go down mm -hmm. and agree. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the two of you get to a place where you get to a bargain. Mm -hmm. Let us agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. You you see this as white. Mm -hmm. I see this as red. Mm -hmm. Let us agree. Mm -hmm. We both are back in a red. Mm -hmm. D six, D six. Where from your side D six, from my side D nine. Mm -hmm. Watcha to watcha to kai vo kwanza until we can be able to see eye to eye. Mm -hmm. I will have to come to your side for me to see it as six, yeah. or you will have to come to my side to see it as nine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, marriage misconceptions. <laughs> Those ones are many. Those ones are many. <laughs> the first one is that you are you get married because of sex. If you're not married and uh, you're <laughs> saying you want to get married because of sex, listen to this man. Number one, there are things that you can get if you have money. Uh, for example, you can buy food. You don't have to have a wife to eat. You can eat. You can clean your clothes, or better still, taking them to the dry cleaner. You don't need a wife to wear clean clothes. Mm -hmm. Currently, away from those that are born again properly, properly is the word. Mm -hmm. You can easily get sex anywhere, yeah, even online. Mm -hmm. So if you're getting married because you don't have someone to cook for you, the day you go to a hotel and eat sweeter food than that of your wife, your wife becomes irrelevant. Mm -hmm. The day you get to a place where you get a dry cleaner that cleans your clothes very well, mm -hmm. you are hata kushinda kikwambia, sasa hii ulipaka, ulitoa pili lipstick, uli, ah, mm -hmm. So if, if you get married because of these things, then it becomes very hard for you to sustain that marriage because the two of you are in for something. This is what I always say. 
If you can make the statement, I love my wife because your marriage is doomed. If I love my wife because she looks good. I love my wife because she cooks good food. I love my wife because. That because ends everything. What we are called to do is love. The Bible says, Ephesians, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church that he gave his own life. Mm -hmm. You see, the love that is there is not love unto what you are given or love unto what you are you're saying. Is love like Christ. Christ did not need for us to do anything for him to love us. Christ loved us without a reason. That I will love my wife because I love her. I will not love her because she does anything. Because if I love her because of her figure, the day she gives birth, her figure goes completely. Mm. So if that thing is not there, Will you still love them? There's a song that I love very much. It says, will you still love me? When everything else is taken. The one that wrote that song proposed to a lady. Then two weeks to their wedding, the lady got into an accident, became lame. She could not coordinate. So, alikaka mazuzu. But the man said, I still want to marry this girl. Mm -hmm. And they got married. How on a wheelchair? Not saying anything. She could not open her mouth. She looked as if she was dying. But he said, I was not loving her because she used to walk. I was not loving her because I want to sleep with her. I was not loving her because this and this is what was happening. I was loving her because I love her. Period. Wow. So that is a misconception that you are loving because. Mm -hmm. and, and you see, the many things that we have been taught... Uh, you know, wives, you should do this so that your husband loves you. Husbands, you should do this so that... Uh, so, wives, you should submit. The day you are not able to do that. And that is why we are having mipango ya kando. Mm. Because mipango ya kando anakujanga na fulfill what your wife is not fulfilling. Mm -hmm. They come and fill that space. Yeah. And start doing things that your wife is not doing. So, if you are not careful... Then Pangwakando comes and fills your space perfectly. Mm. And you see, there is no perfect person. Mm -hmm. So there's something that you will have that the Pangwakando will not have. Mm -hmm. But there's something that they do yeah. that you don't do. Mm -hmm. There's a part of the book that we've done uh, that that is, is speaking on the wisdom of a prostitute. Mm -hmm. The wisdom of a prostitute. Mm -hmm. uh, I will give you this as, as a highlight. Mm -hmm. Every prostitute. If you look at men that have gone to prostitutes, mm -hmm. they don't go back. Mm -hmm. Good case scenario, Samson. Mm -hmm. He did not have anything to do with the liner, but he was finished by that woman mm -hmm. for one reason. Every post prostitute, number one, knows how to bathe. Ataoga vzuri, narun soko. Luku, Ah, tava, akufuraishe. Na utakuwa na muambia sipendi ingo, anator, araka, anafai ingine. Until you are satisfied. Mm. The perfect responsibility is to satisfy you. Number two, they know how to make their bed. A prostitute's bed, you are chaff, you are disarranged. A prostitute, size wakopaka na nyumba. A prostitute cooks good food. Food that you will enjoy. And a prostitute will honor you whether you whether you are you look like shabby or do whether you give her something or you don't, they will honor you. Mm -hmm. Now, let us come back to home. We go to home, baby, I'm going to sing and get in the home. Kim we know. Kim we know. Now, I'm going to get a coffee in the kitchen. I'm going to go to home, where we come as well. Number one, una nuka sweat. Ume jar oil. Uli shinda garat. And at that time, you want your wife to love you. The wisdom of a prostitute. Oga visuri. Tengeneza kitanda. Kitanda for, for this matter is make your matter settled. Everything that would come between you and your spouse, settle them. Cook good food. Who said that men cannot cook? You know, I used to love my father's food. Not because it was organized. In <laughs> fact, he used to put everything together. Alaika kitungu, ju, nyanya, nini, alafu na mwagilia chumvi, na maji. Alafu 
Eh? But I loved that food because it was always sweet. Na ilikuwa tabu because he never used to cook very many times. So anytime you see him in the kitchen you know mm-hmm. something good will come. Ya ya madhe ilikuwa inapangwa. Mboga imekatakatwa vizuri. Ya fadhe mboga inararuriwa hivi. Ina mkono. Eh hey, bana hakuna like time ya ngazi. Si. Eh. Hata kama kuna kisu inaekelewa kwa mbao. Pa, 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 three times yes. uko sawa. Mm-hmm. But that food was sweet mm-hmm. because of the heart yeah. that he was doing it with. Mm-hmm. And you see most of the people think that ah mimi mwanaume niliyoa nikiingia jikoni I am Marian so wa Meru wengi ni kodi ah gap jikoni ume umevunja nini kodi ya wanaume <laughs> but this is my marriage <laughs> that I need to work on <laughs> if I don't work on this marriage people will work on my marriage <laughs> properly <laughs> tunaambia ngwa if you throw away something <laughs> someone else will pick it <laughs> ukirusha kama takataka someone else will pick it and repackage it <laughs> and you will see it working <laughs> So it is for you to work on your own. Yeah. So the wisdom of a prostitute very key mm-hmm. that you learn from you know we we normally think that the prostitutes are bad. There's something you can learn out of a bad situation. Mm-hmm. You look at a person and the way they are packaging themselves mm-hmm. and as a man you always tell yourself by the way uh, my wife li- loves me clean. Mm-hmm. So if I am clean then there's no way she will say no. Not unless she has her own things. Mm. So Nidakuja, I come home as a man. Now this the prostitutes na dalianda ni wanawake peke yake. It's not. Mm. Even men, mm. we have men prostitutes yeah. and they know how to package themselves well. Mm. Ataka vizuri, ameva vizuri, ananukia vizuri. Wewe umekuja ile chakula ya asubuhi bado kwa kwa mdomo. Inafanya ile kitu. Umekuja haujapiga shower and you still want to touch your wife and she's wondering, "Oh my god." hiyo hiyo harufu yenye inatoka hapo ndio inakuja kuniguza mm. it becomes a problem yeah. but if you are willing to take that place where the wisdom of a prostitute become your own wisdom mm-hmm. and you implement mm-hmm. ah utakuwa hizo misconception zote station mm. so we need to have that uh, wisdom we can we can learn something from the prostitutes out there what is the importance of marriage marriage is very important very important number you know, one nowadays there are some girls they are saying i just need to get a kid there and i am done what it's because it? it's because of what we have uh, portrayed you see uh, before we answer the, the the importance of marriage you see you will look at a lady <laughs> before they get married ana piga lupa ana kafiti akitoka hivi kwa barabara everybody turns to look at her akikuja kuimba praise and worship everything is okay and and she's she's well packaged then she gets married and the next two sundays unamwona na nguo ya mafijiji amevaa tu she does not have makeup she just looks like that so you wondering mimi nikiolewa nitakuwa nakaa hivi wacha ikae so it becomes you 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 start now Uh, becoming something that you are not you start portraying something that you should not so the importance of marriage when it comes now to looking at the importance of marriage is number one, fulfilling god's purpose mm-hmm. god the bible says and god said it is not good for a man to be alone mm-hmm. alone there is not uh, emotional lonely what we go as a manga sasa mimi sina mtu wa kuongea na yeye sasa hata sina mtu wa kukana yeona hii nyumba yote na kanga hapa na kujanga nimechoka hakuna mtu it is not lonely mm. it is alone new miracle mm. so god god's intention is that the two of you come together you see a man represents the authority of god a woman represents the power of god and when you two come together that is the perfect image of god So what God was looking at is wilia kwa peke yake. Authority is alone. Mm-hmm. Power is not there. Mm-hmm. The moment we bring authority and power together, purpose is achieved. Wow. Yes sir. That is a deep revelation. Bless the Lord. Man. Wow. Bless the Lord. What wisdom. <laughs> and all this wisdom. Imagine it's it's here because all that you have discussed it is written in this book and the workbook and so that is why i'm saying you need to have this book maybe there is someone who will not make it for the lounge but they are asking how can i get my copy 
Um, the copy can be received. We will be delivering. Mm -hmm. Immediately after the launch, we will start distributing the books. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a number that I don't know if it's okay if I yes, share yes, the number. Yes. You, can, you can call through 0700-884-667. 0700-884-667. And once you do the payment and everything, the book will be shipped to where you are. Mm -hmm. Yes. How can people get in touch with you? Maybe through your socials? Uh, through my socials, I am on Instagram, I am on Facebook, and on YouTube, Marriage and Bliss. Uh, or also Peter Kanjagwa Mogambi. Peter with P-E-T-R-E. Mm -hmm. uh, Peter Kanjagwa Mogambi. Uh, also, marriage and bliss, that is the ministry that we are in right now. Mm -hmm. Any interaction, mm -hmm. you'll be sure that you'll be interacting with me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you so much for Thank coming. You very much. We really appreciate it. You can give us your parting shot. <laughs> Every marriage mm -hmm. is work, and work has its own remuneration. If you want to have a beautiful marriage, you will have to work on it. There is no lady that comes out looking very beautiful in makeup that has not taken time to build on herself so don't make us feel as if we are seeing a different person let us also see who you are on the inside we don't marry the outside we marry the inside those that are already married work on your marriage it is an institution that you got into. And maybe you may come class one because you have never taken time to study. So it is time that uh, this book comes to help us to study, helps us to now start that conversation. Start that conversation with your spouse. Talk about matters you two and grow yourselves. Because one day you will look back and say, thank God I invested in my marriage. Someone said, use what is in your pocket to put something in your head because what is in your head will once one day put something in your pocket. So this, we are using what is in your pocket to buy a book that will put something in your marriage. And one day, your marriage will produce something that will put something in your pocket. So God bless you. Amen. Amen. And thank you so much. Thank you. Very Carry our love. I will. And looking forward to... To come for the lounge. Most definitely. I'll, I'll Most be there. Definitely. I know you will be there. Yes. If you are not there, I will call you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be coming. You're most welcome. Thank you so much. And Sam. the Lord bless you. Amen, amen. Yes, that is it. We come to the end of tonight's show. And I was hosting Pastor Peter Kanjagwa from Live Chat International, Limuru. And he has wisdom. This man has got wisdom. That is why I am encouraging every couple out there to get a copy of his book Enriched. And I can assure you that your marriage will be enriched. Remember, as you buy this book, you are investing in your marriage. And so all of us, if you want, you have just said that marriage is work. You need to work for it. One of the ways you can show that you're working for it to work, it is investing through buying such materials that can help you. And with that, see you on Saturday at the book lounge at Life Church International Limuru. So thank you so much for joining in. And the show was proudly sponsored by Baha'i Investment Limited. These are dealers of selling of land and plots. And they have in different areas in Kenya, in Juja Farm Abbey, Roy Murera, Makuyu Mananja, Nanyuki, and Kangudo Road. You can visit Baha'i at their offices in Juja Town and Juja Professional Center. Or you can call that number that is running down there on your screen. And uh, that will be a good thing. So thank you so much for joining me. And this is Couples Week Show. And this is where we write down our love when we are alive. For we don't want our love story to be read when we are gone. Neither do we want our love story to be read when we are six feet under. That is why Mr. Kajagwa had to come here, sign the love with, and invite you to go buy that book so that you can also sign your love with. My name is Willie Kinyash or Dr. Love and out there they call me the Undisputed. And remember, this Friday, coming Friday, we are having a 
dinner. We are having couples dinner and to be happening at uh, Biblica Conference Center at uh, Dennis Street Road near State House. And uh, charges is that 500 per couple, per couple to be starting from seven till late. And theme of the day is what makes marriage a marriage. You can't afford to miss out on this. We'll be having a great speaker. His name is Joe Wisdom. And so you're most welcome. You can call a number that will be running down there. And if you want to uh, to book uh, for the seat, actually we are having very few seats remaining. So kindly, if you want to do a booking, you can call that number and you'll be sorted out. So thank you so much and see you on Monday on Couples Wheel Monday Boost. Bye. Thank you.